Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to explore a new strategy that you can use with Pygambot to run a miniature lead generation outreach campaign by using Yellow Pages, okay? I'm a very big fan of uh, scraping data from Yellow Pages as opposed to Yahoo because they are essentially only business listings um, that are on Yellow Pages so that people can contact them. So this is going to come in a few different parts, but the bird's eye view of the strategy is we're going to scrape uh, Yellow Pages for the um, URLs, okay? Uh, we're gonna scrape Yellow Pages for the URLs. We're gonna scrape those URLs for their email addresses. We're gonna load those email addresses into a um, mail merge software. And then we're going to send out about 350 emails to all of those email addresses, okay? And we're gonna do this in about, eh, I'm gonna say about 10 minutes, all right? And I'll show you exactly how I do it right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select yellow pages. Now, when you scrape yellow pages, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a custom footprint. Now, a custom footprint, when it comes to yellow pages, is essentially just a text file with the, with the city you want to scrape, comma, the state. Okay, so we are going to add Houston because I like Houston. We're only going to add one footprint because this is not going to be a very large scrape. Um, you could add more, I guess, if you want, but uh, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to do one. We're going to select custom footprint. Okay, we're going to select keywords with footprints. And the keywords we are going to use are going to be dentist, uh, dental, um, oral. I guess maybe orthodontist. Orthodontist, orthodontist. That's how you spell that, right? Orthodontist, whatever, doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, and then we're gonna click on throttle scrape to speed this up a little bit, make that two. We're gonna make that three. Do you want to continue? Yes, yes I do. Okay, so we're gonna click start, scraping. Okay, sweet. All right, so we're gonna let this run for about a minute because all I really need, I'm only, we're gonna, we're gonna err on the side of caution and get about 500 um, results, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can parse these results for data in a second, but I just wanna make sure, because the, the limits of my mail merge software, you can do 400 uh, emails per day, and I sent out about 10 yesterday. Um, and I plan on sending another 50 today. So for this video, we're gonna do, let's do 330, okay? Um, so we're at 180 right now, and it is not going up that counter, probably because there's lots of duplicate URLs. I guess there can't be that many dentists in Houston now that I think about it, but we'll get there. Um, so the reason I'm trying this strategy is because normally what I'll do is I'll run like massive campaigns with Pygambot that'll just go straight for the contact page and then just like leave it. Um, but I, in my experience, when you send an email, it, I don't know, it just seems like it like has a little bit better of a success rate. Okay. So we'll try that. I could be totally wrong. Oh, wow. That was cool. Scraping is complete. Perfect. All right, so once we're done with that, we are going to get a Yellow Pages full report. Generate that report. We're gonna call this one uh, Dentist Houston, YP for Yellow Pages. It's very important that you label your data um, accordingly and that you also separate it into folders like this because otherwise you are not gonna remember anything and then you're gonna be a total mess. Open file, no. Now I've mentioned this in other videos, but basically Pygambot comes with OpenOffice, which for some reason does not open these files. Like it doesn't, they have like errors in them. So what I have to do is this kind of roundabout way of copying the file, control C, and pasting it to my desktop where I have Microsoft Office. So we'll open that. 
Okay, then what we're going to do is we are going to look for this column that says website. We're going to select all of that. We're going to go to a website called dedupe list, which is going to remove duplicates from a list because we don't want duplicates on the list. All right, so it's removed 384. We're left with 278. Then what we are going to do, that's probably going to be filtered down a little bit more. Uh, then we're going to come back here. We are going to go to my URLs folder. We're going to make a new text document. We're going to call this dentist YP URLs. We're going to open that, paste those URLs that we just found. We are going to click on save. And then we're going to reset this app. Okay, so the next step in this uh, procedure, we are going to scrape these URLs for email addresses, okay? Because we're going to be, you can scrape for whatever you want, but in this case, we're going to do email addresses just to try this strategy out, okay? It might be better, it might be worse, but we'll just try this, all right? So let's see, what we're gonna do is we're going to add URL list. This time we're gonna select harvest data from URL. We're gonna click okay. And we're going to go to our URLs folder. Dentist YP URL is going to ask us how many threads. Uh, let's say, I don't know, 11 threads. Why not? It shouldn't take that long regardless. All right, added URL to posting list. OK, so right now I left this selected contact page URLs along with email addresses. Um, we'll see how many you know we get out of all of this. Um, now, the messaging that I'm going to send these people, huh, interesting, it's actually not returning that many emails. Oh well, we'll see. The messaging that I'm going to send these people is something similar. I'll show you the canned response that we are going to send out. So this is a personal uh, email, I guess you could say, that I am like personally soliciting businesses. And the, the reason that I chose to do this is because in the past, when I used to sell social media marketing services, I noticed that I got like the fastest way to get clients is to show them that you are an actual person and that you are contacting them to provide a service for them. You, you essentially, you show them your social media links, you show them work that you've done in the past, and you tell them, hey, like hire me, like I'm ready to go. You know, here's all the work that I've done. And I have a lot of work that I've done, right? These are all funnels that I've made. Um, you know, these are all epic articles that I've written. These are Instagram accounts that I have. These are, you know, social media accounts. What else do I got on here? Uh, my two YouTube channels and then basically how they can contact me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this out to all these dentists and I'm going to say, uh, hey, I'm like super awesome at dental stuff, whatever. Um, and I think I might even have a dentist funnel in ClickFunnels that I can show them. Den, I do not. Uh, dental? No, I don't. Okay, that's too bad. Cairo maybe? I have a couple chiropractor sales funnels. So maybe what I could do is I could essentially show them this funnel that I made, quote unquote made, and I can say, right, I don't, oh, actually, I think I do have this. Let's see, HTTPS, mychiropractorfunnels.com. Did I do this campaign? I believe I did this. Yeah, sweet, awesome. Wow, I totally forgot about this. Okay, so I can even send them this link as part of this stuff. And we'll put that one first because I think that like chiropractor funnels is probably, like chiropractor uh, is probably the most similar to dentist. So hopefully they'll make the association. Uh, and then let me just save that, why not? Save, okay, done. All right, so what was I gonna do? Okay, we go back to this. Now this is done. Ooh, we've gotten, only gotten 53 email addresses. All right, so that's fine. 
So we're going to export emails, generate report, and we're going to go to the email folder. Where is the email folder? It should be here. We're going to call this dental emails YP. Now, I'm showing you guys how to do this from scratch, right? But the cool thing is that, no, don't open file. The cool thing is that if you take a look here, these are all uh, URLs that I have um, parsed from previous campaigns, right? So now let's say I'm doing dentist. Let's say I want to get all these lawyer emails, right? I can do essentially the exact same thing and just harvest you, uh, emails from this list, which I'm sure is like way bigger than 250, right? Like how I'm clicking this like a million times, like there's at least for sure a couple thousand URLs in there, right? That'll keep you for a very long time, keep you busy. But anyway, uh, let's see here. So what I wanna do, let's go to our email folder. Uh, emails, dental emails. Oh shit, that's right, I can't open it. Um, cancel. We're going to copy this. We are going to paste it in some folder that I have. This, my like main machine is not um, nearly as organized as my, uh, what's it called? Uh, VPS. Okay, so that will give us all of these emails right here. All right, now it'll show you the URLs and the emails. Okay, so what we're going to do, we can run this through to do list one more time just to make sure that we don't have any duplicates. One removed, 53 remaining. And let's see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a Google Sheet. Um, let's see. This is the mini campaign that I ran yesterday. I'll call this one emails two. We will paste that in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get an add-on that's called yet another mail merge. Okay, now they, you, have, you have a free tier and you have a paid tier for this. The free tier will allow you to send 50, 50 emails per day. The paid tier will allow you to do 400. Okay, so we've got 50 in here or 53 or whatever. Um, so, you know, whatever. You can do 50 a day if you want or you can do more if you want to pay. I think it's like $15 for like a lifetime license or for a year license or something like that. Uh, but essentially what you do is you click on, you know, save, or sorry, start mail merge. And a mail merge, for those of you who don't know, is basically like sending lots of emails to it's the same sheet. Do you want to s No, thanks. All right. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes it'll only read this column. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut, we're going to create a new sheet, paste, add-ons let's try this again um what was i talking about okay so yeah a mail merge is basically just like sending lots of emails to different people from the same email address i don't know why it's called a mail merge i don't know why they don't call it something like more normal uh okay so copywriter funnel hacker and paid traffic pro now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one. Now you'll notice that these are all the same, except this one has, this one is much larger. That's because this one has images attached to it. Uh, images that like prove the results that I've gotten from certain campaigns. Screenshots basically from my ClickFunnels account. So let's try that one, even though that doesn't have the chiropractor funnel in it. And we are going to, you can receive a test email, but I've already done that and I know that it's good. Uh, you can send an alias here, right? Set up an alias if you want, but we'll just leave it like that for now. Shit. <laughs> All right. Let's do this again. <sighs> Good times. All right. So, yeah, basically, you'll see. I'm going to click this button. And that's going to be it. Make sure we've got the right template selected. We do. Send 53 emails, and then that's it. It'll just go. Now, the cool thing about this, and I'll, I'll show you once it's done, 
is that it's going to um, show you, like you're, you're able to track who opens the email, who clicks the email, and if it bounced or not, um, which is pretty cool too. So like a click, obviously if they clicked any of the links inside the email, um, bounce just means like the server rejected it or uh, you know it's an invalid email address or something. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, so this, let's see. Now, the, it normally doesn't take this long, but the reason that it is taking so long now is because I have all of those attachments, all right? It's only about five images, but the, the uh, total size of the email is about one megabyte, which is not a lot, but it's gonna take longer to send an email with one megabyte of attachments than it will to send, um, you know, like nothing. All right, so that's it. 53 emails sent, bada boom, bada bing. We click OK. This will open up right away. And then like, sometimes this updates like really quick. Like you'll see like, oh, open, boom. Like, you know, like fills up with people. Um, and then this will like light up with different colors. But I guess, what is it? Right now it's like 11 p.m. in New York. Okay, bounced, so eight bounced. Um, yeah, all right, that's fine. Okay, fairly standard. Uh, now, if we go back here, see what, yeah, all right. So this is a campaign that I ran before. Let's see, open, open, you know, all these people opened it, bounced, right? This person clicked. So you'll get kind of, oh, here are the stats right here, right? 50% open, this one. I think this was a, a real estate um, campaign that I ran. I only did 55 with this, but like I said, you can do up to 400 per day with the paid tier, which is literally like, I think it's like $20 for like a lifetime license or for a one-year license or something like that. Totes worth it, especially when it's this easy. Cool, so that was basically another strategy where you guys can use Pygambot to, I guess we can call this like targeted lead generation for, um, to market your, your personal services. Um, generally have a better success rate when you introduce yourself as a real person, you provide samples of your work, and you show you know, your social media pages and stuff like that. The one caveat to this is that with Pygambot, you can, you can kind of only do it once, right? Because you don't want to, like let's say, because you know, I'm promoting several services here, I'm doing social media management, I'm promoting funnel creation, and something else. I can't like create another company that makes funnels and point to the same examples, right? People might catch on and then you're less likely to um, have them turn into customers. That's the theory at least. Who knows if that's true, but I just like to be on the safe side. Cool. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in a comment. Um, if you like the video, click like. If you guys want more clarification on something that I've gone over, uh, let me know. If you guys have questions, suggestions about future videos you want me to make, definitely tell me. And check out my other channel. I have a channel on fitness, fasting, stuff like that. I'll put links in the description to this. All kinds of shared funnels, click funnels resources, tons of stuff. Read the description, click on all those links, spend money, buy stuff. And yeah, that's it. Peace.